In this video, we're going to talk about page variants in UI Builder. Uh, so we've looked at, and you're probably familiar with at this point, how to create a page. You can create one from scratch. Uh, you can create it from a template. Uh, you can add page parameters. Uh, but what if you come into a situation where you have uh, two different versions of the same URL you want to show somebody? Um, so maybe they have different roles and you want to show them one thing based on their role or maybe based on the data on the page you want to show them different versions of the page. Uh, variants are a really nice uh, solution to that problem uh, and so we will uh, get into that. So right now I have uh, this page that I created in a previous video uh, where we have uh, passed a required parameter and uh, we bound that to the component. Uh, and uh, you can see that when I create a page, it automatically creates me a default variant of that page. So every page has a default variant. Uh, and if I click into that uh, on the uh, settings here, I see a few different options. Uh, so I'm going to start by duplicating this variant. Uh, so I could create a new variant uh, from scratch. Uh, but in my case, I, my new variant is also going to use a, a component like this. So I just want to duplicate it uh, so I get that component. So I'm going to hit duplicate. It's going to ask me to name it. Uh, so we'll call this home default variant uh, because I'm so creative. <clears throat> and I'll hit create. Uh, so success, I've created this variant. Uh, so now it's asking me if I want to set the visibility on this page. Uh, and you'll notice there are you know, two different ways I can set the visibility. I, I mentioned this already, uh, but the first is audiences. Uh, so you can think about this like uh, user criteria in the catalog. Uh, where you can define, you know, what is this audience mean? Um, by default, it uses roles, uh, but there are some options for more things as well. Uh, so if I click add audience, um, I think I have an audience defined already. I have this work submitter audience uh, I could add here. <clears throat> and I guess if I hit save, uh, we've got uh, this one audience. I can order these audiences um, and uh, that could be who sees my page. I'm going to delete that. Um, but the conditions, uh, this is the part where it's a little more, uh, I don't know if I would say complicated or complex, uh, but it took me a little bit longer to understand how this works. Uh, so with the conditions, uh, I can use audiences, conditions, or a combination of them. Uh, so if I set conditions, uh, I have an encoded query uh, variant conditions field here. Uh, so the note here says, you know, if I pass table as incident and a sys ID is negative one, which in service now sys ID is negative one means it's a new record. Um, or sys ID is not negative one. Uh, so that means it's an existing record on the incident table. Uh, so for this, uh, it's actually looking at uh, the required parameters of the page, uh, which you can kind of think of those as fields. Uh, but our only required parameter now is color. Uh, so this is on our variant. So I'm going to say color does not equal blue. Um, so that's going to be our conditions. And then I'm going to run this at 100. Uh, so the order evaluates uh, from uh, the lower number to the higher number. So let's hit save. All right, uh, so this is going to run if color is not blue at order 100. Uh, and uh, I'm going to also edit the conditions on our first variant. So this is going to run at zero and I'm going to say color is blue. Now, I could have just done this and not done the other uh, condition, but uh, I don't think that would have made for quite as fun a demo. And then let's change something slightly on this page. Uh, so we've got our two variants. They have their own conditions. Right now they're showing the same thing. So instead of grabbing uh, this, this uh, required page parameter uh, and populating it in the text, let's uh, just say the color is not blue. 
So let's save this. So my expectation is that if I pass blue uh, in the URL here, I'm gonna get this version of the page, which is just gonna show me blue. And if I don't pass blue, uh, instead of showing me whatever I pass, it's going to show me this static text, the color is now blue. So let's try it out. Hit open. So I see blue here. And then if I change this to red, instead of seeing red, I should see the color is not blue and it worked. So obviously that was a really simple example. Uh, you could get much more complex and, and have your, you know, your page be just slightly different or very different uh, depending on what your use case is. There, I don't believe there's a limit to the number of variants. Uh, so you know, if you had a lot of different people uh, accessing a page and wanted to show them something different uh, based on who it is, you could do that. Um, and uh, you know you have a lot of options here. So th this was a really exciting feature uh, when I saw it as someone who has built uh, various portals in ServiceNow on different technologies. Uh, this was a fairly new uh, concept, but a really exciting one.